with us, Greater St. Louis Area Media Specialist for the Missouri Department of Conservation. Good morning, Dan. Good morning, guys. How are you doing? The Peregrine Falcon. What is going on? You've got some news here. Yes, we do have an update. Uh, folks may remember we talked about this last month where we have a partnership with World Bird Sanctuary and Ameren, Missouri, to um, uh, put a nest box at the Sioux Energy Power Plant okay. and with some peregrine falcons so you can see what's going on with them. Well, that had been going pretty well. But on Monday, uh, World Bird Sanctuary staff went up there to ban the chicks. Uh, the chicks hatched the last week of April. There were four eggs, two successfully hatched. So there were two babies, and the parents were caring for them as expected, which basically means bringing them pigeon pieces and letting them eat. So fun to watch. But they went up on Monday to ban the chicks, which they normally do. What does that mean? Put a little thing on and their they leg? Put a little, little metal band on their leg that right. identifies them with a number so that if they see them, in the future, they'll know which chick they were, where they were hatched, and okay. the whole nine yards. Right. So anyway, they went up there to do that, and they found that the box was empty, unfortunately. Hmm. And looked around and found that both the chicks had been blown out of the box. There was a very strong straight-line wind that went through the power center on Saturday, I believe, and blew both chicks out of the box. One was about 100 feet down on one of the ledges, and unfortunately, it did not survive. Hmm. Um, the other one was on the scaffolding just below the box, and it was still alive. So that was that was really good news. So they took the chick down, discovered it had some broken toes. So it's going to require some rehabbing to heal. They think it's got good prognosis for healing. But that leaves us in a situation, what are we going to do with the chick? Mm -hmm. And uh, a couple of different options out there. Um, first of all, if, if the, the chick can recover soon enough and they can return it to the box within about a week or so, then the parents will actually pick up and start uh, caring for it again, just like sure. nothing left off. Um, if it goes much longer than that, though, apparently, according to World Bird, is that these parents will lose the urge to care for their chicks. So they'll basically abandon it and forget about it and move on. Right. So obviously, if it takes longer than that, that's not going to be a good outcome. So what they hope to do is um, find another nest box in the area where that has chicks of similar ages. So they can just basically deposit this chick in one of those boxes, and those parents will take care of it just like one of their own. You think that it would? You think those parents would know? Hey, don't <laughs> wait think a this minute! Is you, don't, you don't look like the other ones. <laughs> Which one doesn't look like the other? Right. But uh, no, they actually apparently peregrine falcons will do that, and a lot of species will do that. They'll just go ahead and foster those new chicks. Now, the, like we mentioned before, the key is they got to be the same age because if they're different ages, then they're going to either outcompete the existing chicks if they're older, or be outcompeted by the existing chicks. So that's really important. Um, and then the final outcome would be if uh, the injuries are more extensive and that they can't fully heal them, you know, then they'll probably will keep that bird uh, and train it as an educational bird. And then they'll use that for uh, programs. How do you fix a bird's toes? I know. You know, I don't know that. I'm not a rehabber myself. I don't know if they put little tiny splints on there or whether it's just a matter of you know, resting good, them in a certain way. Are the good feet store or something? Yeah, it may be. Yeah, there might be something, you know, custom fitting, but... Um, so, you know, we'll, so, we'll have to see how that goes. I have a question. So when they found the surviving bird you mm -hmm. know, on that little ledge, mm -hmm. it's interesting. The mother didn't um, try to pick it up and put it back into the nest? No, I guess not. And maybe they that particular species doesn't do that. Or maybe, mm. you know, right. it, you know, so I don't know. Or maybe they didn't. It, but I do. I can tell you this. They were very protective. I did get a chance to go up there with the staff, and I wasn't on ground zero. But um, the uh, the world bird staff, you know, they have to have helmets on. They have to have eye protection, gloves, stick shirts, because those birds will dive bomb you. Yeah, because they're falcons. They're falcons, yeah. and, and they can travel. They were flying through at 100 miles an hour, and uh, Jeff. Um, uh, Messick, who uh, works for the World Bird Sanctuary, was talking about how they struck him num numerous times. Falcons are no, oh, no yes. joke, man. Those dudes, falconry, yes. man, that's a real deal. It is, it is. So it was really amazing seeing those birds fly around and, and uh, that kind of speed. So they're still very protective and they're very, you know, constantly vocal and all that. So mm -hmm. those folks who do that, I have my hats off to them because they mm -hmm. do have to take some risks to do that. But you know, the rewards are you get to, you know, see these peregrine falcons develop. So, uh, Is the website still up where you can still watch them? Well, no, we had to take the camera down because there's really nothing to watch at this right. point. So the camera's not up there, but I would recommend if people want to follow the story, and it's kind of unfolding because we don't know what's going to happen with right. this chick exactly. Um, there, uh, Jeff Messick of the World Bird Sanctuary does an Ask Jeff blog that he posts there and kind of gives updates. So you can still go to the, the website, which is AmarinMissouri.com 
slash Falcon watch. Yeah, there you and go. And you can watch it. Or you type in a search engine, Amron, Missouri, Peregrine Falcons, you'll probably find it. He gives it really great updates here. And he does, yeah, he gives really good updates of, of what's going on. So it's interesting. And, and the educational birds, I mean, even if, if the outcome is he can't go back, the bird can't go back to the wild, it still serves a really good purpose as an educational bird yeah. because it's it lets people, you know, kind of gives a better appreciation to folks and uh, of what these birds are and lets mm-hmm. them see them close up. Hopefully um, he doesn't get any ingrown toenails or bunions on those feet, <laughs> well, too. That would yeah. be a disaster. I guess, you know, like yeah. I said, the good feet corns. stores there. Yeah. Dan Zarlinga, Greater St. Louis Area Media Specialist for the uh, Missouri Department of Conservation. Great story. Keep us up to date. Will do. Thanks. 848, Big 550, KTRS. American.